Hi there! Thank you so much for watching or if you're watching back. For today's video, we're going to make a first impression look on Mia's newest set of gouache paints and we're also going to test it out. So yeah, before we start, you know the drill. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And it's me again, May, and you're watching my channel, May Something Creates. Hey guys, how's everyone? And yeah, I admit it, it's been a long time again before I posted a new video. But yeah, I won't make this long. This is the new set of paints I'm referring to you. This is the newest set of gouache paints from Mia. It's overwhelming because it has 56 colors inside of it. They also sent me this cute sticker. This is a freebie and this is adorable. And thank you for this. So as you can see here, it's actually huge. I'm excited. I have been done any unboxing with this so as of this moment i only have seen two shops that are selling this and that's from the craft central and be happy crafts i got mine online at be happy crafts website and this costs 1950 pesos excluding shipping fee good thing about placing your orders with them directly is that they will be able to send you the item on the same day all right so let's start with the packaging it's just you know simple as it is it's on a white hard plastic case and obviously there's this logo at the middle and there are some characters printed and some wordings that are written in Chinese. And I can say it's really durable. It's sturdy. It is really a good idea that they put this two handle so you can just easily carry this set case. To be honest, this is heavy. It actually looks like a big lunchbox and as you can see at the sides, there are this snap thing. I don't know what's the exact word for this, but it serves as the lock or the cover. And yeah, we're opening this now. At the back of the cover, there's this foamy thing. I don't know what's the usage of this. Is this a palette? I don't think so. Or maybe this serves as a like a barrier or a cover for the paint so it won't spill or it won't stick on the cover itself. Let's see. I just noticed that there's no palette included here and we also have your swatch card. Unlike with the usual swatch cards that we see, these are actually already colored and uh, it was digitalized. Hopefully, the colors that we are seeing here are exactly the same as the pigments of the gouache paints we have here. I'm actually delighted because I'm seeing like this pastel colors which I like the most. And I'm seeing here pinks, light blues, shades of yellow. I'm so excited. So for the swatch card, this is just a cardboard with some Chinese characters again. And at the back, there's an illustration. It actually looks like a postcard. And I think we can color it using gouache paints, but I will just leave it like this. And we're now going to open the gouache paint. So here's how they look like when they are still sealed. They are individually sealed and they really look like a jelly ace. Hence, jelly cup paints. So I'll open one and this is how the jelly cup looks like. This is 30 ml and it is on a plastic container as well. As I can see here, the container is actually not full because there's this hollow space in here. But as long as this is 30 ml, then that's just fine. So we're moving it back to place and I'll be leaving you with a time lapse while I open this. And yeah, enjoy watching! Okay, so as you can see, we have here the 56 colors of Mia gouache paint. And here we got a bunch of pastel colors. We also have some nudes, dark tones, and neutral colors. I also noticed that there are two whites in here. These are titanium whites. So if you want to desaturate the color, you can use this to mix with another paint. And then for the other one, you can use this for detailing or for highlights. 
And of course, the next thing we're going to do is to swatch this and I'll be leaving you with a time-lapse skin. Enjoy watching! So as the usual thing we do when we make swatches, I also put some black lines in order for us to determine which among the colors are opaque and which are translucent. For the swatches, I will be using this flat brush and I will be doing two swatches of each colors. So the first one will be a swatch without water and the second swatch will be with a mixture of a little amount of water. So from there, we can visualize how they color as a solid one. And since most of us also use gouache paints, like how we use watercolors, then we can also check how they look like when they are reactivated with water. Here are the swatches we made using the 56 colors of Mia gouache paints. I can say that the colors are very pigmented. They are so bright. The gouache paints itself are creamy. Although there is some water or some liquid on top of it, it's just normal because they are just the binder. So what you're going to do is just to mix it and your paint is good to go. The next thing we're going to do is to use this and test this out on a painting. For today's piece, I will be doing a painting of the most iconic scene in Ghibli Studios, Spirited Away. But actually, this is also one of my favorite scenes where Chihiro is going to the sixth station waiting all the passengers to come and go. This scene is kind of unsettling but for me, this is the most magical scene or moment from the movie. When uh, Chihiro sets out on a train ride, it makes its way through shallow water on a set of submerged tracks. So I got curious about this because some animated movies actually are derived from actual scenes or actual locations in Japan. So when browsing through the net, I found this Shimonada train station in Japan and they're actually linking this scene to that train station. However, it was not confirmed by anyone or by the author that it was actually inspired with the Shimonada station. I've also read that tourists are not welcome or are not allowed on the area because officials there are actually seeing some crashes from tourists or other persons that are picture taking at the area. I also tried to check this on Google Maps and they really do appear. However, you cannot have a closer look on it. But if you look at the aerial view, you can definitely see that there are three submerged trailways or tracks on the Shimonada station. So back with this gouache set that we have here, I really love it. It's really portable, you will just have to reactivate it with water. And also while going through the painting process, figured out that the foamy thing at the back part of the cover or of the lead can actually use as a palette. I like how they sealed the colors because it keeps it fresh. And I really love the pastel colors. There are different shades of pink, different shades of blue, of green. And they are really pigmented, they are very opaque. But of course, if you thin it down with water, there are some pigments here that are no longer opaque. All in all, this is a 5 for me. I did not regret spending a lot for this set. And yes, this is the first impression I had on this palette. And I can say that I really love it and I will still be using this. I hope you guys like our video for today and I hope you have learned something from this. And yeah, I'm ending this video now but we can still stay connected on my social media accounts. You can find me on Facebook, that's at May something, on Instagram, at May something, and on Twitter. Even though I'm not that active, you can also find me there, it's May something. Alright guys, thank you so much again for watching till our next video. May we all have a good day. Bye!